Does anyone know their stuff the way Marilyn knows best before dates? Well, actually, yes. Dr. Joey Schulman is a fountain of knowledge on how what's going on inside our body affects what we see on the outside. And today she's joining us to talk skin. We know about the lotions and the potions and the serums to help reduce the signs of aging and improve the look of our skin. But Joey, you are here to give us the need to know on foods to help us achieve a beautiful glow, which is amazing. So give us an example of some skin conditions that you've worked with that have improved from diet and supplement therapy. Okay, for sure. So we see a lot in our clinic, and the skin is the largest organ in your body, so it's a really good indicator to how what's going on inside, Trace. So from psoriasis to eczema to acne to premature aging, whenever a new client comes in or virtually I'm paying close attention to their skin, it's just a good reflection to pay attention to what's going on. Yeah, it's nice for us to think about what we are putting in our bodies always. So let's start by talking about what yeah. foods you want us to take out and why. Are there certain foods that we should be like just our absolute triggers? Not for everybody. Remember, we're all bio-individuals. So for some people, yes. And so the most common skin irritants are gluten and dairy and soy and eggs and corn. Those are the basics, right? So it oftentimes doesn't make sense for us to put all of this good stuff in unless we take the bad stuff out. Because the bad stuff can be a microbial irritant, an irritant to your microbiome, your tummy, um, and it will often reflect in your skin. Okay, and are there certain foods that can actually help to heal and hydrate our skin? Oh yeah, for sure, there are. And you know, from Hollywood to the beauty magazines, everyone's talking about these foods that are good for skin, but there actually are superfoods that are really good with detoxifying and they have anti-inflammatory uh, components and it does improve the look of your skin. So things like cilantro trace, Cilantro, if you love it, go for it. I even put it in my smoothie. Mm. It is a great detoxifier. It's rich with minerals. Um, you know, I, it's just one of those things that I say incorporate as often as you can. Fresh herbs, they're kind of the low-hanging fruit because it's easy to toss them into your dishes and they make everything so delicious. So I would put cilantro in as much as you can. Oranges and kiwis and lemons, high in vitamin C, so really good for um, skin as well. So the more that you can have high, don't be scared of fruit, guys. Fruit is not going to cause weight gain. It's, this fruit is good. So the more you can have vitamin C rich foods, great. Sweet potato is also really, really good, high in vitamin A. So again, the right type of potato does have a place in your diet. And then we want to hydrate like crazy, Trace. So things like cucumbers and watermelon, those are really hydrating foods, which will show up on your skin as well. And of course, omega-3s. So things like salmon and nuts, those are the, it's like a conditioner to a hair follicle. It helps your skin hydrate. It helps with moisture. It reduces fine lines. But of all of this, Tracy, the nutritional gold, the highest antioxidant capacity are wild blueberries. Mm. So they are... They can be costly, but this time of year, you can buy them at the side of the road. But wild blueberries are so good for you, for skin, for disease prevention. Put them in smoothies, put them in salads. They're amazing. Okay, it's not like I didn't know blueberries were a good thing, but you have really been talking about blueberries a lot since, like, you know, maybe last year, this <laughs> year. Like, honestly, I buy blueberries now every time I go to the grocery store just because you are telling me that... Aww. They are so good. Like, they're such a good antioxidant. It's the color of the skin is really good for you. Everything about them. The only thing we got to do, Joey, is we have to clean them properly, right? Because they're part of the dirty dozen. You do. So, I mean, if you can get organic, great. But you're absolutely right, Trace. You want to clean them properly. They have something called an ORAC, and they're the highest on the ORAC scale. That's the antioxidant. So, if you look at the highest amount of antioxidant activity, which is the good guys, mm -hmm. that's wild blueberries. So Love the wild, that. if you can get them, are actually even better. Okay, wild is even better. I like to hear that. You also have a smoothie. Uh, what's in the smoothie that you say is good for the skin? So coconut water, which is filled with electrolytes, collagen, which I know you and I are both fans of, the wild blueberries, the cilantro, a little protein powder, a little maple syrup, bananas. I don't say that I have the prettiest smoothie because it comes out sometimes greeny blue because of the mixture of cilantro and blueberry, but I have the healthiest smoothie and it is so good for skin. So I, you know, smoothies are the easiest way to get the most nutritional bang for your buck, to be honest. So I love my Nutribullet and I use it every morning, really. So it's great. Good. We love to see that. We love to hear it. It doesn't have to look pretty. It just has to do the work, right? Joey, thank you so much for that. Great tips yes. as always. <laughs>